You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. I said, of course it's love even if I spit. Not technically true. Every mouthful is a goal. Is it? I don't know. It's Valentine's Day, Mike. It is Valentine's Day. Oh, Are you sad and alone? No. No? Why would I be sad and alone? Just wanted to know. So St. Valentine was martyred by having his skin... He was filleted alive. For filleted? Marion. Yeah, so his skin was peeled Sounds off. tasty. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that mad about missing someone's oh. skin being peeled off because he was marrying people. OK. So, yeah, what have you got in the showbiz this week? Um, I've got something about Justin Trouser Snake. Trou you know, Timberlake, Trouser Snake. What's this action for? Is it curved? Bottom. All right, okay. With the trouser stick, I thought it might have had a curve in it. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it? No. Yet. I'm just saying, you know. Okay. <laughs> well, on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Could.TV is our website, and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have shared or liked one of our posts scroll along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the buzz. With it being Valentine's Day, I've gone for a very lovely version of the buzz. A romance. We've spoken about these, these two before, but it's the gay penguins. Oh, God. Right at the back, are they? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. This is a cute... These, these penguins are cute. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the cute mic. Go on. Yeah, go <laughs> on. The, 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 the attitude towards these lovely. So, uh, Sven and Magic, the penguins. Sven. Sven. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong with Sven as a name no, for a penguin? No, there's nothing wrong with it. Sven and Eric. Sven and Magic. Magic. Sven Eric's, and I was getting confused <laughs> with them. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> anyway, these penguins have become a power couple. A power? Okay. Um, not power bottom, a power couple. Can he be a power top? He can be a power top, yes. Which one's a power top then, do you think, in that relationship? I, I think... Sven or, or Dream or I, whatever I think he's called. Magic. Sven and Magic. Sven and Magic. <laughs> I, I think they're both verse. Do you think they do do the sex? I think they do do the sex, yeah. Or do you think they just have companionship? No, because they're not all ugly people. What they're a penguins. penguins. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so, um, so they've they've had years together. They're celebrating their third anniversary. Oh, okay. Um, at the Sea Life Centre in Sydney, Australia. Aust yes, not not Sydney, Glasgow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sea Life, Australia. Um, but they've actually been showing other couples of penguins how to look after the eggs. Oh right, okay. What did you think I was going to say? You were going to say something like when they were showing the other penguins in different positions. <laughs> yeah, this is the Penguin Karma Sutra. <laughs> Put your little fish in the jar as you walk through. We'll, we'll take them out and see who's going to be paired up with who. I mean, it was a penguin joke. Okay. About peas and stuff. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I see where you're going with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they ever... Did they ever... Um, did they ever... Have an egg, yeah. Yeah, did it bear fruit? No, it, no, a chick. Did it hatch? It, it hatched, hatch. yeah. They did, oh. like, they go, oh, look, bananas. No, they were just... Did they have a baby? They had a baby. Oh, yeah. where is that baby now? That's is it, it dead? <laughs> it's gone to live on a farm. <laughs> no, it's still there. Oh. Being a, sm being a penguin out being a penguin. Do they, have to, do they have to, like, steal another penguin's egg every time to <laughs> give steal. it to them? No, no, so they use abandoned eggs. So if, oh. if a mummy penguin abandons an egg... Then they'll give it to, to Mummy Penguin, you child. <laughs> a mummy penguin abandons an egg. <laughs> um <laughs> Okay. Is there anything are we is there a point of just, like, just constantly it interrupting? Just, it was just a lovely little story. Oh, okay. About right. the, the, are they getting married? Is there gonna be a little penguin wedding? I don't think they're gonna get married. Uh, that would be nice. That would be dressing up penguins. Mm -hmm. I think animal cruelty All might of some... them. No. <laughs> they're already in tuxes. Yeah, a little bow tie. They've already got them on, haven't they? Tiny little top hat and glued on top Covered of in chocolate. Mm. Wrong kind of penguin. Anyway, moving on. Have you got any allergic reactions? No. Have you not? No. Any allergies that crop up from time to time? Mm. Jeez. Bit of, <laughs> bit of dry heat in the summer. Dry heat? Yeah. 
Is that, is that the opposite to a sopping fanny? <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Moist heat. Um, you know, a bit of bit, bit, bit itchy, a bit of itchy heat. Bit is itchy. it itchy heat? Prickly heat. Prickly heat, that's the word I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we've created three different diseases here. I've got three conditions, one of which exists. Um, well, imagine if, you know, Valentine's Day, the big day. The big day. The big day. Um, it's that one time of year where you're allowed to get naked in public. You're not allowed to get naked in public on Valentine's Day, I've been told repeatedly. Um, well, this poor person has found out that they're allergic to sex. <gasps> oh, no. It break, makes them break out in hives. They can't walk properly. Um, but they've worked how to beat it. <laughs> so many, so many smutty remarks in really? that what? sentence. Why? Because they, they can't they walk properly after it. sex. They know how to beat oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. What is it that she's she's allergic to? Is it the, is it, is it the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't know whether she's into the pee or she's not. She might be into the vajay. She's not into both. What is she? What is she into? So are you you're asking whether she's into pinot vagine? Yeah. Yes. That's a preference. Um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because it's not a fluid that she's allergic oh, to. Oh, is it the... It's actually the condoms that she's using. Oh. So she actually has a latex allergy. Okay, well, that's easily sorted, isn't it? Well, it, once you've worked out what it is, yeah. <laughs> okay. But if you think about every time you're having sex, you suddenly you get um, red, a rash and swelling. Yeah. Maybe you think that's that's always happened. Maybe that should always happen. Yeah. I don't think it, that. I don't if think don't, I would be if, sat there going, oh, "Well, every time I I, have, I diddle get diddled, my my flu flares up into flames." <laughs> yes. Then, well, she didn't know. It wasn't until she was twenty-one that she realised what the situ situation was. Mm. So it was still quite a short about time. It was um, having sex for the first time that she, she was in so much pain she couldn't walk properly. Ooh. Right, so she, but she thought that might have been normal for losing the V. Okay. Right, um, and then afterwards it was red and swollen. And she had sex again. It was red and swollen, and she thought, well, maybe, maybe it's just maybe I'm allergic to the D. Maybe, maybe that's just what it's supposed to be like after you've had sex, because she didn't know any better. And it wasn't until she went to the doctor and talked about it that they went, that's not right. Let's test you for some. Had a look and went, oh, love. Put it away. That's a very angry vagine. <laughs> it's very angry. Well, not quite right yeah. down there, love. Don't know why they're from Yorkshire. No, neither do I. Um, <laughs> because she's actually from London. Um, but she's she's basically she's had self for STIs, and now she's found a different type of condom she can use, so she can still have safer sex. Oh well, well done. Because you know, if she's in a committed relationship, she doesn't necessarily have to use. Um, a condom, does she? She doesn't have to, you know, there's lots of options available. Mm. Yeah. Um, but she has said she wants to continue to use condoms and she just bought, got the ones that are latex free. Oh, like like sheepskin. Like from the olden days. Pig's bladders. <laughs> like a balloon. No, um, do not use a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just there's latex free va variants that you can use. Well, I'm glad that yeah. she can, she can have rumpy... Pumpy, sexy time. Yes. yes. It's always good. Well, it's not always good. Sometimes it's a bit too thing. Um, but if you find something on the internet that you want to share with us, whether it's an angry vagine or not, we're at The Could TV on social media. Now, our story of the week. Oh. It's still romantically based. Is it? But it's also about your health. My health, personally. Your health. All of our health. All of our health. All of our health. So, you know, the start of the year was a little while ago now. Mm -hmm. Right, we all made resolutions. No, we didn't. To get healthier, no, we didn't. Eat fewer Big Macs, that sort of thing. Um, but a great new way of, of keeping away stress, increasing self-esteem, making you actually live longer, has been discovered. Right, and it's something you can do on your own, within anywhere between two and twenty-five minutes. Does it involve a thumb? It doesn't involve a thumb. It can do. But yeah, this is the fact you can get 10 amazing health benefits from regularly masturbating. What? It's just, it's every Valentine's Day, Mike, you try this with this story, don't you? It's in some form or another, just to justify that your shaft is red raw. I use you're... lube. <laughs> I'm not an amateur. I might be a massive wanker, but I'm not an amateur. Well, it's not new news, that, is it? Well, they've actually got it scientifically proven now. It's not oh. just not like someone saying, oh, yeah, I sleep better if I've had a wank. But it's always been a scientific fact that 
gentlemen need to clear the pipes, so to speak, regularly, because that can help prevent prostate cancer. Yes, it can. It's one of the, he the health benefits. So if you, if you regularly masturbate up to twice a week, yeah, you could live longer. I'm going to live forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to die. Um, Pulling that old padge into the year, well into the next millennium. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said into the next millennial then. It's <laughs> a whole different thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it can reduce anxiety, um, increase, uh, make your skin better. Yeah. There is nothing I like better when I'm feeling anxious is to crack one out. No matter where I am, <laughs> always relaxes me straight away. That's, that's, why you not allowed Dentists. to go bungee jumping anymore, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that bird! <laughs> it just wasn't a bird. <laughs> I've just take this oh, test. Oh, I've got a minute. Yeah, that kind of yeah. <laughs> Covid test. Yeah. Yeah. For PCR every single time. <laughs> it's like open your mouth. Let me just drop my pants. What? No. <laughs> just having a stress wank. Crying wank's the one. <laughs> Never feel happier than after you've had a cryo bank. Just saying. But that's the end of the buzz this week. Well, thanks for that, Mike. Please, people, don't send us your photographs of your angry red vagines. We don't need those. Or do. But coming up next, we have Lee in the Showbiz. <laughs> You're watching Two in the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get all loved up and cosy or at least get ready for Lee and the Showbiz. Unfortunately, I can't bring Sexy back today for you. Bring it back? Mm, Did you ever like, have it in the first place? Like, like Justin Timberlake. He brought sexy back, didn't he? Did he? When, when did that song come out? Back. When did that song come out? Long time ago. But we've been waiting four years, Mike. We've been waiting four years for the next Justin Timberlake album. It's not going to happen, though. Okay. It's not happening. Because, do you know why? He's put a hold on his music. Because there's this documentary about Janet Jackson about to drop, as the kids say. Which, um, as, we, as we've discussed before, poor Janet Jackson... Who are Janet Jackson? Who are Jackson? We've got a picture of her Janet Jackson at the, at the, the whole Super Bowl thing. Uh -huh. This is just before the Nip wardrobe game. malfunction, uh -huh. um, where he tore away part of a costume intentionally uh -huh. to reveal her her bosom. Mm -hmm. um, we do have that picture, but I don't know if we're allowed to show it because it wasn't a full bosom. It was like part bosom with a nice star on the thing. Oh yeah, there, is. there we go. Oh, we censored it. We censored it. Oh, well, we, it, it has yeah. to be said. It's got she's got a boob out. Yeah, but it has a, it has a big star on it. It was nothing particularly very yeah, yeah. offensive. Well, you know what? It, it, it's his face. Quite. It's not. It doesn't look shocked there. Does no, it? he knew. See, my feeling is he knew exactly what he was doing. They they knew what. Was I happening. I think he's not. I think he's going. Oh look, boob, boob, boob. Um, <laughs> nom, so. Nom, nom, so nom, 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 nom. <laughs> so the the no, no, no. <laughs> stop it. No. The, so this this documentary is coming out. It's called Janet because she's called Janet Jackson, uh -huh. and it's two part, and it's all about her life with the Jacksons, leading and, and covering a lot about the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. So over, as, <laughs> covering the Super Bowl. Covering the Super Bowl. <laughs> as the years have gone by, yeah. people's opinions of what have happened mm. have changed. Okay. So initially, everyone blamed Janet Jackson and said she did it on purpose. She knew what was happening. Now, people are kind of going, mm, he got away with this really lightly. So his team have decided that they're worried that this, this documentary could have a have a, a negative impact on him releasing new music. So he's okay. decided to shelve it. So there was a bit of a backlash about him last year, not just about Janet Jackson, but the whole kind of framing Britney Spears documentary yeah. that, that came out. Um, and he was criticized for how he sort of treated Britney when they split up in 2002. We, we can never not forget this, the, the hideous denim matching outfit that they wore together. Um, we can never not forget. We can never, <laughs> never not forget it, because it's horrible. It's <laughs> awful. But yeah, he, he, he got a lot of flack for that. Um, although he did apologise in February last year yeah. um, to the way he treated both Britney and Jenna and said, you know, I, I apologise, mm -hmm. contributing to the problem of misogyny. Um, so, yeah, we're not going to get any new music for a while, not till the dust has settled. I'm okay are you, with that. Are you, not a, are, you, are you a Justin Timberlake fan? I'm not, I'm not angry when he releases music, but mm -hmm. I, I, I don't get much anticipation. 
to get moist with moist with anticipation anticipation yeah i don't mind a bit of britney no justin timberlake i don't mind a bit of justin so the different people one's got they are yeah one's got a peen well yeah um so yeah we'll just have to wait and see what that brings are you a fan of elvira mistress of the dark gay icon elvira mistress of the dark no <laughs> i am a little bit yeah just because she's a little bit weird. She's a little bit. So uh, Elvira, who is played by actress Cassandra Peterson, last year, oh. Cassandra Peterson, she's not, Elvira isn't an actual person. What? Elvira is the creation of an actress. Come on, Mike. Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed now. Come on, Mike. So, yeah, so last year she came out as gay. Are you still stunned by the revelation? Yeah. That she isn't... So we've got a picture of this is this is the character. It's Alvira. No, it's Alvira. Alvira. It's not a character. It's Alvira. It's the character of Alvira. It's like Pam Ann. It's a, it's a person. She doesn't walk around like that all the time. When she's not working, she takes the wig off. It's not a wig. It's it... hair. Mm, dear me. Um, so last year she came out, um, much to the disgust of her, fa her, her to a, a percentage of her fans, so she mm. describes as horny old men. Okay. Um, so, you know, she's been doing this character for 35 years. Almost as long as I've been alive. It is, yeah. Yeah. So she 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 revealed that she'd been in a relationship with a woman for almost 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, she'd released her book um, that was all sort of like about her life and history. She said, autobiography. Oh, autobiography, yeah. We've got a picture of it here. Uh, Man Wears of the Mistress of the Dark. Um, and basically what she was saying is, is that she really, really worried because mm. she does have a big gay fan base. Mm -hmm. And she was worried that pe the gay community would be going, oh, you've lied to us for 25 years. You've never, and um, and she was like, she never wanted to do that. It was kind of like it was, celebrities didn't feel comfortable oh. coming out because they worried about the backlash. So she she, she, she kept it quiet. Um, she So what she's, when she re revealed this, she had a, you know, a massive positive reaction from, from the gay community. Which you, did, which you would expect. Which you expect, because we've all yeah. had to come out of the yeah. closet. So we know that, it can be quite hard and it can be scary and lots yeah. of things happen with that. She so, said, yeah. but the straight people, she said, I thought that she said, I knew there was going to be some horny old men out there who were not just going to like that, dislike the fact, but they know now that they definitely don't have a chance with me anymore. And she said, and I hated to tell them they already, they never had a chance with me ever. Um, on the day that she announced it, she lost 11,000 followers um, off, wow. off Twitter account. Um, but then the same day, she gained 60,000 new Ooh, followers yeah. um, for for being really honest and and, and 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 talking about it. So yeah, she's been with her partner for for 20 years. I like Alvira. Me too. I'm... I like her film Alvira Mistress of the Dark. It yes. is, is a camp classic. Yes. I do enjoy her when she goes on like drag race and stuff like that. She does. Yeah. She's in her late 60s. Yeah. She's not a spring chicken. No, but she what, what I actually quite like is the fact that you know, she lost 11,000 followers, mm. then got 60,000. 60,000 Which more. just tells you that you know there's more nice people in the world than there are arseholes. Yeah. And also, I want to know the secret of how she keeps her bosom so pert. Tape. Do you think? I think there's a lot of wire. A lot of wire and a lot of tape. Tape, yeah. Okay. And, and maybe a hoist. And a hoist. When she's out of character, she looks so different, it's unbelievable. You wouldn't think that they were the same person. Because they're not. Elvira's a person. Here we go. Okay. Look, you tried this. You tried to joke about the Father Christmas thing, the Easter Bunny, the Tooth Fairy. I'm, I'm, I'm not believing any of them. Whatever. I have an Elvira Barbie. Why am I not surprised? You <laughs> Just <laughs> the one is the surprising she comes part. Out at Halloween and sits on the windowsill. Uh huh. Mm. So yeah, good. Well done, Elvira. We love, well we done. love you, Elvira. Yes. So last bit of showbiz news. Bit of culture. Bit of culture. So there's an, this artist called. I'm, I don't know if this is how he actually pronounced his name. I think it's Kiason. Kiason. Um, he is an Instagram. An Instagram? I can't say oh, an Instagram word. now. An Instagram artist. Okay. And he, what he does is he digital. Di <laughs> he digitally uh -huh. recreates classical paintings, yeah. replacing the people that are in them with celebrities of now. Oh, okay. Which look really, really like pop culture type people. So he he kind of like so. Rick decides who he's going to use. Mm -hmm. 
puts them in that situation okay. and paints them. And people are going absolutely bonkers for them. They want them. They just want them. Okay. They want them on the walls. They want them on other places. And the, uh, in the halls. <laughs> in the halls. In the halls. In the they vestibules. Want, they want them on the stairs. They, they want, want them, them everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So we've, we've got... We've got so we've, Zeus there. <laughs> so he's, he's like, you know, like Banksy, who we don't really know who Banksy is. Banksy. You know, the Banksy that does the spray painting art. You, you mean Neil Buchanan? That, is ne that was never true. Yeah, Neil Buchanan said it wasn't true, which makes me think it was true. No, apparently Banksy is some sort of, like, hip-hop grime artist. So we've got some pictures of his work here. So the first one that we have got is Adele. Oh, not a computer. Not a computer, not no. Adele. It's Adele in an oldie-worldie image. That's quite pretty. That's quite beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Then we've got Madonna. Madge. Does, yeah, Our Madge. Madge. Um, I think this is pre-filter. A um, couple of years ago, Madge, that is. A couple of years? A couple of years. Um, that's, and that's 1700s Madge, surely. It, yeah. Surprising that, that Madonna's got a pearl necklace. Mm-hmm. He's done um, people like Marilyn Monroe. Right. Put them all in these... He's done the pa portraits of all these people. He's not done he's the not people. He's not done them. Yeah, but he's, like, done pictures of them. Dirty man. Dirty <laughs> man. It is Valentine's Day. It is. Okay. And um, with Valentine's Day, I always have to think about, you know, the men in my life and how much Many I care for them. Well, not just the romantic ones as well, the platonic ones that I love and that platonic kind of caring love. Yeah. So I, I get them all a little bit of a present. Ooh. So would you like to have a look at what I've put in your box? Not really. Got your little, I might have got you a little present. I don't want another how... picture of your gonads, Mike. There's not going to be a picture of I keep of telling you. Oh. doesn't matter so... how many googly eyes you stick on them, I don't find it attractive. So yeah, those people that I love, I get a little present for. Your box There's is on no, this th side of you. It's, it's going to be empty, isn't it, Mike? It's going to be a gaping. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> knew it. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, look, I've got oh, a present, Oh, have you got yourself though? something, have oh, you, babes? Look, I've got this hideous thing. That is a beautiful piece of art, that is. And as a, as a loving can gift just, to myself... I, don't break it! Don't, don't break it, because look, his necklace is not on the right way. His, his, his beads are not the right let way Let me around. see, let me see, let me yeah. see, let me see. Don't. That, that's why you're alone, Mike. That's why you're single. Because you don't respect anything. Don't respect you can't art. respect this. Don't respect art. This isn't art. That's that's the end of the showbiz news. Hope you die alone. Yes, you're rightly. We all die alone, though. Some of us won't be going, I'm sorry, Mike, as they get choked to death. But coming up soon, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week we are playing the Gobby Game Show. So it's time for our Gobby person to gob off. No. Oh. Will do. Game of the Week. So all he needs to do is say what's on the card in front of him. And that sounds easy. Are you ready, Lee? I am, Mike. Just to say this week, these, these are just silly limericks. So they're, they're not... Of anything. Okay. You've just got to work out what it is that I'm saying. Okay. Not going to work, but fine. You're putting the mouth spacer in. Okay. Skateboarding. Helicons. Yell. Skateboarding. Helicons. Yell. Skating helicopters yellow. No. Skate. Roading, helicons, yell. So I got, I got, I got. <laughs> as the first word. Skate, roading, waterboarding. Ah, oh, God, it's not even the first one on this stage. Skate, roading, helicons, yell. Skateboarding. Yes. Helicons. Yes. Hell. Yell. Hell. This word is the same. Whether I say it with the out yell, yell. <laughs> it's the same. Jesus Christ. 
Skateboarding Pelican Gel. I know you were doing that on paper. You I were, was. You were <laughs> doing he told it me that he, the first words, I, I was trying to work out what you were saying. They say, like, the rage is building. I'm like, yeah. well, why would Bl you tell me that? Do you want blue, orange, green, or purple? What do the colours represent? Nothing. To just pick a just colour. Choose. Right, purple then. Purple, okay. Like the end of a penis. Suharan is the man of steel. I always get that word. Suharan <laughs> is the nan of steel. Super nan is the nan of steel. No. So you got Suharan is nan. the, that's yeah. right, of steel is right, nan. Okay. No. 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 So nah. Super Gran is the Nan of Steel. Su I'm not right, I'm not doing it anymore. I, I'll just sit here, I'll just sit in silence right in it from that all the time. I'm not sure, is that not Super Gran? Super Nan. Super Nan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can hear Super Nan. <sighs> nail. The nail version. The nail version. Jimmy Nail. Super. Clark, Clark Kent. Good old shoe. Clark Kent is a reporter. See, did you get hot? Uh, apparently. Superman is a man of steel, as well, you know. I wasn't far off. Blue, orange, green, or purple? Orange. Orange <laughs> dancing is a rat. <laughs> Tried to fillet the card. <laughs> Do that again. Rolling <laughs> <Following> dancing <laughs> is the last. <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus on the words because I'm looking at your face going. <laughs> it's because I have to pronounce the word. Rolling <laughs> dancing <laughs> is the last. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work out what the word you're saying when you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> Dancing is a last. Is a last. Oh, run dancing is a last. No. Ballroom dancing is a blast. Where's the L in ballroom dancing? Ball. Ball. As in ballroom. I just if I can make you say right. ball a lot. <laughs> Blue. Uh -oh. I'm going for Blue, orange again. Orange. Orange again. Orange. <laughs> Rinny Hosted <laughs> Cupcakes. Sorry? Rinny Hosted Cupcakes. Mini Bastard Cupcakes? <laughs> Frosted. Frosted. <laughs> Frosted. So, Frosted Bastard Cupcakes. No! Rinny Hosted Cupcakes. <laughs> I'm getting on right on her house. I'm trying to get it. That's the thing. I'm trying. All I hear is you saying bastard cupcakes. Mini frosted cupcakes. Say the word again. Frosted. Oh, frosted. Yes. Bastard frosted cupcakes. No, there's no bastard in it at all. Mini frosted cupcakes. Yes. Okay. What colour? I'm gonna go for a blue one this time. We've not done a blue one yet. Hmm. Go. What? Hicking hitty hink hanses. <laughs> <laughs> Hicking, pretty, pink, hansies. Can I say pissing? No! Hicking, pretty, pink, hansies. <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch Skeletor in like He Man in the 80s? <laughs> and the mouth would move randomly. And I'll I'd... get you next time, Skeletor! <laughs> Kissing pretty pink pansies. Oh, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with it. Okay. We're going to go with this. Isn't it? This is going to get, for fuck's sake. Uh, <laughs> what colour? What colours are available? Blue. Uh, <laughs> blue. <laughs> I don't think you should be Orange. Taking, I don't think you should be taking the space out when you No, play. I don't have the energy, Mark. I really don't have the energy to try and convert. So blue, orange, green, or uh, purple? i go for uh, or purple, please. Their hairs have no hairs. <laughs> Shaved bears have no hairs? Oh, close. Their hairs have no hairs. Their hairs. Their hairs have no hairs. 
Um, shaved bears, waxed bears. No. I love that editor. I love the fact that we've been doing this game show for so many months <laughs> and you've only just realised <laughs> that you look like Predator. <laughs> like a gay uncle Predator. Oh, that, um, that monster out of Hellraiser, the one that has all his face healed up. That goes... What does he do? <laughs> <laughs> He's got like chatter. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, it's on no hairs. <laughs> I thought you said chats with hairs then. Oh, I like it though. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> the guy in Hell Hellraiser chats with house. I like it there. <laughs> oh dear. Say, say the phrase again just so I can try and remember what it said. Bear bears have no hairs. Care bears have no hairs. Yeah. Cool. It's not. Bear bears have no hairs. Bear bears? Yeah. Bear. Bear. Come on, Mike, what colour would you like next? Orange? Mmm. Volcano lava and ragna. <laughs> Say <it> again. <laughs> Volcano lava and ragna. Volcano lava and dragma. Nagma. 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 Yeah. Nagma. Nagma. Volcano lava and nagma. Nagma! <laughs> It's the rocking thing that comes out of the rocking, rocking get. <laughs> Carl, Carl, <laughs> Carl. Are you trying to say lava? Yeah, lava and nagna. Lava and nana. Oh, God. <laughs> Ragna. Rag Ragna. Ragnarok. Ragna! Ragna! Ragna. Oh, God. It's. It's volcano lava and magma, and you, you, oh, you know full well it was magma. You were just doing it on purpose. Right, I think we've got time for one more, and then I'm going to kill myself. Um, Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> <laughs> Blue, orange, green, or purple? I will let you decide. I want purple. Eye drops sting my face. Do again. Eye drops sting my face. Eye drops. Sting. Ah! My face. Why are you putting them on your face? I, do, I don't know. It's what it said on here. Eye it? drops. If you're putting eye drops, they should both go in your eye, surely. Eye drops sting my face. I'll stop putting them on your face. Put them you in your know eye. what it is, though, don't you? Yeah, I do. I'll say it. It. I'm going to hook you to flip this table. No <sighs> on it. I'll hurl it across the studio. What am I trying to say? I've seen, I've seen you try and throw things. I'm perfectly <laughs> safe. I, th I think that's enough for this week. I do. Yeah. Well, after this break, we're going to have... Oh, it's like it's Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we're going to treat your lovelinesses with, well, Crafty Queens, I'm sorry. As it's Valentine's Day, mm. and I highly doubt you'll have got a card apart from you from your mum, I thought we'd do something kind of Valentine's-y. Mm. Oh. You, know, you know how you, you read me to filth for being single? Mm-hmm. And you, because I, I'm single, you assume that I don't get cards off, off admirers. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Have you had a card off this year then, Mike? I'm not going to say their names on TV, am I? Your mum? No, I, my mums don't send me them. Oh, your mum? Anyway, wouldn't Neither the mums do. <laughs> so, shall and, and you know while we're doing it, we're gonna have we're gonna have some little Valentine's Day facts because it's Valentine's Day, and I don't. Oh, we're doing what? While we're making this pile of crap, I mean, really nice craft activity. So okay. So you have a a number of different sized hearts. I do. Some are different colours, some are shiny. What I would like you to do is to, to locate the big pink heart, uh -huh. the, cor the corrugated pink heart. Yes. Okay. And put it in front of you so that the kind of, so the pointy end is facing towards you. Okay. Yeah. And the sort of like bum end is um, facing away from you. Okay. Okay. So 
What are, it, this is just a matter of assembling things. I'm not going to tell you what we're making until the end, because you might know what it is when, we when, we, when we've got to the end. So, first of all, you like should it. have two kind of medium-sized love hearts. Yes. Yeah. You've got those? Yes. Okay, what I would like you to do is put a little bit of glue uh -huh. on the back of each one, a little line of glue on the white side, the reverse side. Uh-huh. I'm going to do a line. Yeah. Oh, it's this glue that hate. tip. Right, and then you're going to flip those over and you're going to kind of stick them sort of kind of halfway down the big heart. You want them quite close together. You done that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure, would you like to uh, would you like to read um hello hello oh, no. A Halloween fact. Would you like to read uh, one of your Valentine's um facts out Mike while we're while we're doing this? Sure. What have you got? Ah, what have I got? So, during the Victorian era, those who didn't want attention would anonymously send penny dreadfuls or vinegar valentines, which were insulting and rejecting to unwanted admirers. Wow. That would, I mean, that would be classed as like a poison pen letter nowadays, wouldn't it? Or an email. Not good, is it? Right, so, well, thank you for that fact. Um, what I would like you to, to, to locate is the kind of, sort of, next to me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The next, next biggest heart. Yeah. Yeah. And that you're going to have um, facing the same way. Uh huh. But kind of gl what, glue it on the kind of roundy bits at the top. On the bum bits. The bum bits, yeah. And then that <sighs> is going to stick. Yeah. To at the bottom where your pointy bit is on your heart. The bottom bit there. Okay. Right. All right. <clears throat> shall, I, shall I give you a fact? If you must. Okay. There is apparently an official Valentine's Day alternative for singles. It's called, and it's on the same day. So it's on Valentine's Day. Oh, it's on the 14th day. of March. It's called Steak and Blowjob Day. No, 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 no. This one's called International Quirky Alone Day. And it's the holiday for singles. And it's a day to celebrate platonic relationships and self-love. You don't need a day for that, do you? Every day is a self-love day. Every day is a self-love day. Right, okay. Now, you should have two sort of shiny holographic-y type hearts. Yep. Yep. Bit of glue on the back of those. Any particular area? Because you've been quite specific. Just, you know, glue them. butt to tip. And you're going to glue those towards the top of your hearts. You know, you've got your two hearts... In the middle. Yeah. Yeah, you can glue those on. Okay. It's making a pattern. It is. It is, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The first heart-shaped box of chocolates was introduced by the Cadbury family in 1861 to boost sales on Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh. Can you still get can you still get boxes of Valentine's heart-shaped ones nowadays? I don't know. Hotel Chocolat probably do them. Don't sell, I don't send chocolates on Valentine's Day. Well, do, you, do you send anything to anybody on Valentine's I Day? I do. I spend. I send a very special person something very special. <laughs> Is it in a tissue? No. No. It's okay. a condom. Oh, nice. nice. So next, you have got should have two shiny little hearts. Bit of glue on the back of those. Right. And then you're going to stick those. Up your ass. <laughs> either side of, your, of your, you know your little heart that's at the front. Yeah. Yeah. Either side on the butt cheeks. Have you any idea what this might be yet, Mike? A waste of 11 minutes. Well, could well be. Um, next, what you're going to do, two, you should have two little hearts, like shiny pink hearts. Little silvery ones, yeah? Yeah. And you're going to put some glue on the back of those. Okay. And they are going to go in the centre of the front heart. Okay, I'll give you another. While, while, while the, that's happening, I'll give you another fact. Oh, okay. Okay. So, Valentine's Day, did you know, originates to a bloody pagan festival. I don't mean bloody as in swearing, but as in blood as in the liquid. So, Christians attempted to replace a pagan festival called Lupercalia, where pagan priests would sacrifice goats and dogs and use their blood soaked hides to slap women on the street as a fertility blessing. 
I miss those days. So, next bit, yeah. you've got two tiny little crystal hearts. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bit of glue on the back of, of those. Yeah. And then you're going to put them... On my nipples. In, this, ...in the centre, or towards the bottom bit of those two little hearts that you've just glued onto the medium-sized heart. Right. Okay. Now, we don't need the glue now, so you can put the lid on it. Pop it, oh, pop it to that. one side. Now, exciting bit now, Mike. You should have a little tiny red battery-operated love heart tea light. I do, but I also have this little sperm. Oh, let me show you the sperm. And it's not. It's the it's the cover off your light. Oh, okay. Your tea light. So just pop that over the... Pop okay. that back on. Pop it in back on. Pop it on. Pop it on. And turn your tea light on. Yep. And then you've got a little bit of blue tack. Yep. Stick that to the back of your, your tea light. Uh-huh. And then stick that in the middle. Okay. Right. Right. You've got some lip gloss there, Mike, I believe. Yeah. This is the t final touching piece. So what I want you to do, I know it's your colour. Put a bit of lip gloss on. All right. Give it a good coating. Uh -huh. he, is he doing that? Is he doing that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Put it on. Come on. All right. You're not putting it on. I don't, you're no, right. I'm no not color. putting it on. I'm looking. Do it. Come on. <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Right. Okay. Yeah? Right. So I've, I've got, got mine on. on. Yep. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to get at the bottom of my heart there. I'm going to give it a kiss. Okay. Oh. And then do you know what? You see, you'll, you'll regret it because now yours won't look as nice. If we turn it round. <gasps> made a little love bug. Love bug. Love bug. I am the single one. This is what he does. I don't have a partner. I'm... I'm sexy. <laughs> that brings the Valentine's Day special of Crafty Queens to an end. So remember, especially on Valentine's Day, if you can't get any peen or any vagine, be Crafty Queen. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be still. It's a love bug, but all made out of love hearts. Uh, like a little face, little wings. Uh, love bug. Uh, and then on the, on the back, you can write a message. Help me. Yeah. I'm being held here against my yeah. will <laughs> by a man with really bad lip gloss. Do you think it's my colour? I think it looks like Les Dawson. Oh my god, I do. <laughs> I'm actually physically repulsed by my own music. Oh my god. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Happy Valentine's Bye. Day. Bye. I'm flicking your bug.